is Chris, and today I'm gonna help you pick out the very best MacBook stand. Now, how did this come about? It's actually something that developed from a real world situation. I personally wanted a stand for my MacBook Pro. Why? Number one, I heard that the viewing angle was not only better for you, like for your neck or whatever, but also more comfortable. And I can already tell you that's absolutely the case. Number two, I wondered if I would get more use out of my touch bar because it would be propped up and more in front of my face. And maybe there would be some other little things I wouldn't even think of before getting it that would be better about it. And I can tell you that's been the case as well. Anyways, as I started looking around, two stands really stood out to me. Number one was the Curve from 12 South, which I featured in the last video that I just uploaded. So you wanna go check that out for a crazy Mac setup but also the Moft, which I have to give a shout out to my brother for putting me onto, which was recently raising crowdfunding money and is now officially available. Why did I zero in on these two specifically? Well, two things. First, just the design. These really looked amazing to me in terms of design. Second, I didn't just want a dumb stand. Like I wanted a stand, but I also wanted a stand that could do something else too. And like have a superpower, kind of. And both of these qualify. All right, we're gonna talk about one, then the other. We're gonna start off with the Moft for one simple reason. It's the newest of the two, brand new, actually. First of all, this is super affordable at just $25 over on Amazon. That's where I picked it up, and I'll leave you the exact link down in the description. And I'm just gonna talk about its superpower right off the bat. It folds. This amazing design folds flat, completely flat, against the bottom of your Mac, which makes it super portable. In fact, it's so thin that it barely takes up any space when you pack it up and stick it in your backpack. Or bag, maybe you're a lawyer, you got some fancy briefcase. I'm not discriminating, whatever you stuff your stuff in. It does use some adhesive to actually stick to the underside of your Mac, and I would say, that it's actually ridiculously easy to get installed. When you're using the Moft as a stand and you're sitting in front of it, you actually can't even see it. And honestly, it kind of just looks like your Mac's just floating there, at least the back side of it. And even from the side, it's like, what's holding that up? It's pretty cool. There are actually two viewing angles. There's a higher one and a lower one. And here's what I think about it. The higher one actually could be higher for me. I would prefer it to lift up even further. The lower one, is so low that I don't think I would ever even use it, honestly. But at least there's the option, because maybe you'll like it. Because this thing is so thin and so portable, it's amazing actually how stable it is, but it's also not rock solid like a metal stand would be. So good enough, you can certainly type on it, no problem. I've done that plenty of times and liked it. But I mean, realistically, if you bump it or something, it's gonna wobble just a little bit. <laughs> One of my absolute favorite things about the Moft is how quickly you can pack it up. It's just like sweep your hand underneath and it's done. So the Moft comes in several different designs. A lot of them didn't really appeal to me. What I ended up doing was going with the silver, which would match my MacBook Pro and just be kind of understated. I wasn't looking for something super crazy. I mean, it's gonna be underneath the Mac anyways. So who's really gonna see it except for someone sitting? I don't know, you know, just plain old silver for me. Now the Curve from 12 South is definitely not new. It's been around the block, right? It's been around for a while, but as proven by the fact that I looked at everything out there and decided to buy it, it really does have this timelessly attractive design. Now I actually nabbed this for $37 on sale on Amazon. So I'm gonna link up the exact link down below, and if you hurry, you might actually get the deal too because it's actually 60 when it's not on sale. Now, as a matter of height, the curve just absolutely rises higher than the Moft. It gets your MacBook further up there, and to be very honest with you, I prefer that extra height. It's just a little bit more comfortable for me. Not that the Moft is bad and that viewing angle is bad. Definitely better than being flat, but I just like the angle that the curve provides better. Now you're probably wondering what in the world the superpower, the extra function for this stand could possibly be because it's just a solid piece of metal that looks good. Well, it's pretty simple. Because of that extra height and the way that it's designed, you end up with some extra storage space that you wouldn't normally have if your Mac was just flush and flat on your desk, 
down below. Now, right now, what I'm doing is I've got a Hue smart light down below underneath. Fits perfectly in there, kind of adds some ambiance to the desk setup. I like that. But you could just as easily stash an iPad and get that charged down there out of the way or store your keyboard down there when it's not in use or maybe something like an external drive, for instance, and just make your setup feel a little bit less cluttered. Now you can type on your Mac while it's on the curve, but it's not my favorite. You can do it, definitely doable, very sturdy, stable, it's just not my favorite. For me, if I'm using this, I definitely wanna use an external keyboard and then an external mouse too. There's a good amount of grip on the bottom of the curve, which means if you have a smooth desk like I do, it's not gonna be sliding all over the place, which is great, has just the right amount of weight and sturdiness to it. There's also some grip on the arms as well, a very good amount. So your Mac, you can confidently set it up there without worrying about it sliding off. So there you go. I mean, I could have picked a million different stands for this video, and I didn't wanna do that. I didn't wanna pick five just to pick five. I picked the two that I like the best, put them head to head, and now in just a minute, I'm gonna tell you which one I'm going to keep and keep using. You're gonna be very surprised. What I do wanna say is why didn't I pick some of the other ones from like Rain Design or even the High Rise, the famous High Rise from 12 South, the same company that makes the Curve, uh, or just some cheaper ones or Moft. Moft, is that really the name? What is the name? It sounds weird. Moft, it's the Moft. <laughs> or even the Moft, like there's some ripoffs of that on Amazon. Why didn't I pick those? Here's the thing. I wanted the name brand, the original, because you gotta support the actual people that came up with this. And I just like the designs. That's what it comes down to. Rain design, kind of nice. Um, the high rise, kind of nice. I heard that it wobbles a little bit if you do want to type on it. Um, I would like the ability to maybe adjust the height, but I didn't need it. And I just have to say, I have to reiterate, because I mentioned it at the beginning of the video, but if you've never used a MacBook stand, and it's like, You've seen the pictures, right? But if you've never used one, it is such a huge upgrade. Just in comfort, and it'll feel like a whole new setup for you, your, a whole new Mac experience for you to have it up there at a better viewing angle, and it's more comfortable. I mean, for the price, it's hard to think of a better upgrade, right, for like around $30 or whatever. You definitely want to pick one of these up, even if it's not these two. I'll put some other ones down below you can check out too, but get yourself one. So the ultimate question for this video is, if I had to pick just one of these, which one would it be? For me, it's gonna be, under these circumstances, the Curve, absolutely, from 12 South. Why? Because it lifts up my Mac higher, so it has a more comfortable viewing angle for me. I just like that better. Two, I get that storage underneath. That's usable, I wanna use that. Also, it just looks like a sculpture, and you can actually see it while you're using it and I like that too. That said, and here's the surprising part, I plan on using both because the Moft is so thin that it fits on the bottom and you could just use both. So when I'm at my desk, I'm gonna be using the Curve and since I have the Moft, I might as well take that when I go to the coffee shop or on the road or something because I can and they're both cool. And, and honestly, the Moft is a lot better than just using uh, your Mac or MacBook flat, to be honest. So I'm gonna use them both. Just on the other other hand, if you're a traveler, you do a lot of traveling, I mean, pick up the Moft. It's just like a no-brainer. When you're at the hotel or when you're at a meeting or something, it is so much better to do this. It adds no weight and it's it adds no bulk. It's gonna fit uh, just fine in your luggage or whatever, so pick it up. Like I mentioned, I just featured the Curve in the last video that I uploaded. I'll link it up down below because it has to do with desk setup stuff. You've never seen a Mac setup like it. So go check that out. Otherwise, don't forget to follow at Daily Tech, spelled daily T-E-K-K on Instagram and Twitter. Check out our new channels. We have two new channels and a podcast. I'll link those up down below too. And I'll catch you in the next video. Later.